हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज प्रियंद्र कुमार वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी वी लर्न दी फाइव एक्सल टिप्स सो टिप नंबर वन इज आई हैव दी मंथ नंबर आई हैव टू गेट दी मंथ नेम द कंप्लीट मंथ नेम देन हाउ कैन आई गेट इट सो आई विल यूज दी टेक्स फंक्शन फॉर दिस टेक्स्ट एंड क्रिएट द कम्प्लीट डेट सो आई विल टेक द मंथ नंबर दिस कॉमा any of the day and year we can get it so first day slash 2017 year so basically we have to get the month only so we can take any year so i have to put one more slash slash here close the inverted comma com and give the format of the month m m m m the complete name of the month okay now change the value of month number yes month name is getting changed so that is how you can use the text function here let me showcase you once again the formula you also can use the vlookup function but for that you have to take a support table right or you also can use the choose function but that is the uh, lengthy way actually so you can use this is the simple and the easy uh, way to get the month name from the month number so it was the tip number 1 let's move on to the tip number 2 uh we have the dates three type of dates basically but all the three uh, dates are in text format this is not the number actually in excel date is uh, the type of date is number so let me showcase you i am putting the is text formula a2 it is showcasing the true is text c2 true so we also can check the is number is number e2 no it is not a number it is a text so all the three is text then how we will convert it into the uh, date so let's see if i will change the format of the date it will not be changed because this is the text this is not the date so you cannot change the format so first of all we have to convert it into the date so we will use the text to column here from the you can use the data text to column and we'll select the delimited and next and again next and select the date and uh, give the format from your selection so i have selected a2 to a15 right so there is the date format is basically dmy so we'll give the dmy and finish so now the date format has been changed so let's see now i'm again using the is text select no it is not the text now it has been converted into the number so now it has been the date you can change the format now or i have already changed basically so let's uh, practice it on the column c i selected the column c2 c15 uh, text to column delimited next next date and now the date format here is y m d right y m d select y m d and just finish it now date has been changed right so now date will show case according to your system so just change the format of the date let's che check the is text no it is not it's okay saying the false now date has been changed so the last one we also can use the uh, text to column here also similarly so let me showcase you delimited next next date and the format of the date which is the date month year okay date month year finish no it was the month date year sorry the format got wrong so again we will use the next date date uh, month date year mdy mdy first of all okay right so now change the date now let's see is number e yes it is now date has been changed you also can check the is tax this no it is not so that is how you can convert your tax to date right so let's move on to the next tips the tip number 3 so i have some data points in the column a 
so there is some text there is some number right so i have to count text from the range so how can i count i'll use the count a so count a will give you the complete count right whether it is the text whether it is the uh, number right if i will use the count so it will give me the number only so it is counting the number only right i'm selecting highlighting the text so uh, let's see you can highlight the text so friends i have told you one of my previous video you also can use the conditional formatting here for highlighting the text let me showcase you alt od and select new rule use formula we can use is text and the active cell is a2 right so we can give the format fill any color and okay now text will be highlighted automatically that is how you can use the i am also giving the description uh, i giving the link in the description for the conditional formatting you can check from there also so uh, basically in the consolidated way we can use the count a minus count in the one cell only so you will get the so one there is one uh, other method is also available with the count if we'll select the count if and the criteria will give you the asterisk only inverted comma asterisk inverted comma close and so you can get the uh, basically the text so there is two way to count the text from the range okay so it was the tip number 3 so uh, let's move on to the next tip the tip number 4 so we have interval wise data here actually so we have the interval wise call answers so we are creating a pivot table on the similar sheet interval and putting the call answer so this is my data interval wise call answer right if i have to use any formula by using this pivot table reference so when i'm putting the formula on h So I just putting the equal to this. I'm getting a a long formula get pivot table answer like that. So right. So then I have to use the formula manually basically. Uh, right. G. Uh, G twenty eight. Right. Equal to G twenty eight. Then I cannot select uh, the range from the pivot basically for putting this formula. if i will select the range then it will give me the this if i will drag the number will not be changed because it is giving the for the particular interval right then so if i don't want to get the pivot table data so i have to go to the option select the pivot table go to the option and remove the get pivot data from there now you are, we are able to uh you know putting the formula without getting the pivot pivot table just put the equal to or you can use any other formula right now it has been the simple table like that so that is how you can uh, remove the get pivot table data from the range you know from the formula so let me showcase you one more thing in the pivot table which is also important so if uh, i'm checking there is a uh, a drop down complete drop down available in the row label in the, the basically the filters so i'm removing the sum data right and refreshing the pivot okay now i have removed but data is not change okay okay uh let me see get a point sir review okay so basically we are at row number 31 basically the uh, header is freeze so let me remove the some more data points so we have the four line item only now so let's move this pivot table cut and paste it here to showcase the better now so if i will refresh the pivot table so now i have four interval only right but if i go to the drop down of the row level then i am getting the uh, 6 am 5 am however i don't have the data for that so uh, how, how i can remove this right click on the pivot go to the pivot option data tab and select the none in place of automatic now replace it and look at the data so now your uh, available drop down according to the uh, available data will be showcased right so 
this was the people table tip so basically let's move on to the next tip so the next step is basically date and time so i have the date and time in a column so how i can is extract the date and extract the time from there so either you can use the date function then year month and day so a long function basically so i will tell you in the shortest way so we can use the int formula here int and get the date change the format and drag it right so pretty simple formula for cutting the time you will use the mod range comma divisor 1 break it close you will get we have extracted the time right and change the format so that is how you can get the date and time from the uh, date and time from the one column to the two different column you also can use the text to column here i hope you have enjoyed this video